Sims. I'll inquire if all went well with arresting Miss Watergate. Sims, you don't know? I, I don't have access to your information. You don't have access to my information. The only way this works is you and I talk. Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We are back in Orwell, and we're back on the trail of Cassandra Watergate. Now, last time, and the time before that, we are looking into whether or not Cassandra is connected with a terrorist bombing that happened in a municipal square. We have found that at least she was there because she has to take the bus on a daily basis from there. And about a minute and a half after she left the square, a bomb went off. And she is then connected to this group, The Thoughts Are Free, or The Thought, rather, and their motto is being the thoughts are free. And the thoughts are free is connected to a anonymous letter that the cops received shortly after the bombing with stanzas from a folk song called The Thoughts Are Free. Okay? So we're on the trail. We're looking into it. And one thought I wanted to share with you guys as I'm going to open up... Uh, let's start from the beginning. Air Force were forbidden this article is private due to the privacy settings of the blog. Archived articles are only available from direct links not from the front page. Sorry, ask an admin of the blog to provide you with a direct link if you're interested in an archived article. All right, let's go back to the main point. Uh, archived, archived, archived. But with freedom is... In, is what? Casarthus. Okay, that takes me back. I thought maybe I could take her portrait here. So Casarthus, by the way, is an alias. Do we have that here? Aliases, yes, Casarthus. So that's Cassandra, okay? This seems to be her post and she had referenced making a post in her like facebook like profile where she said where she was exonerated of uh attacking a cop or assaulting a, a, a cop rather and because there wasn't enough evidence with speculation that maybe her parents had some sort of political influence on it so let's just uh before we read this i want to point something out so orwell isn't just a piece of software it's a knowledge engine Right, which is why we feed it pieces of information and then it makes connections for us. Uh, and we'll talk about this probably at the end of the ep first episode because we're, we, we're probably going to have a discussion of meta-narrative about this game. But if you go to the Twitter profile for Orwell itself, the game, uh, it keeps referring to human in, in like investigators and it, it's a very mechanically oriented discussion and set of posts which makes me believe that maybe Orwell is a little bit more than it's cracked up to be. But we'll talk about it at the end. Uh, I really do believe that or that the, the guys behind this game really do want you to sort of scour a bunch of different things for a little weird meta ARG. But, you know, that's just my own personal headcanon and <laughs> fervent hope. So let's just read her blog post. Freedom is Unfree, published in September 2016. So this is about a month after she was... Uh, set free or the, the charges were dropped so it's cams cams everywhere even at the freedom plaza is it just me or is that more than just a little bit i don't know ironic uh, i don't know if it's ironic cassandra you probably all know me as either that blue-haired punk bitch stupid cunt or anti-governmental terrorist these are only some of the names i've been called during the criminal investigation against me that was just because in the middle of the chaos someone believed to have seen me hurt a police officer it never even occurred to anybody that it wasn't me. We were there because we wanted a peaceful protest. We have always been against the violence. So we, I'm assuming, is the, the thought, the group. This doesn't actually make any sense because she joined it like a month after she got arrested. But, you know, what am I, what do I know? One would assume that in an age where there are cams everywhere, it should be easy to prove whether I was at all involved or not. But it wasn't. It took weeks of investigative custody to figure out that the cam footage was actually not clearly showing anything at all. Which raises the question, why are there so many cams in the first place? The answer is intimidation only. You keep calm, quiet, and careful when there are cameras around, or you fear that there are cameras where you cannot see. When founding this blog years ago, Abraham predicted pretty much this for all of the web. Ooh, this might be one of the other articles, because remember, there are direct links. And now it's in our real lives too. We have been brought to the Freedom Memorial since we were kids at school. We were told lavish tales about the founders of the nation, told to show national pride. And I know what you're thinking now. This thing is damn ugly. What is it that donut, what is that donut even? The let freedom ring? But the statement behind this ridiculously enormous heap of stones should be clear. In the middle of the Capitol, there is a symbol of freedom. 
Comprehensible symbolism for everyone, isn't it? With the cameras there, this is now the plaza of unfreedom, if anything at all. Okay, easy there, Cassandra. But this is now a conflicting piece. Yellow is conflicting data chunks, so she has an adverse attitude towards violence. Fine. Um, we'll take a look at this later. Freedom is unfree, right. Cassandra's timeline. Um, yeah, let's take a look at her. Uh, I'm assuming this new data is this link. So we'll come back there. Let's take a look at her timeline. Cassandra Watergate posted April 13, 2017. Ha! Finally, someone who had the grit and explosives to show how futile surveillance is. Oh, Cassandra. Oh, Cassandra. There are thousands of cameras pointing to a target and the Big Bang still happens. I haven't laughed this... I haven't laughed like this for ages. What now, Mrs. Delacroix? What now? Oh, Cassandra. Really, Cassie? You laugh at people being killed? Are you out of your mind? This is... This got posted, like, right now. She just posted this... This timeline, by the way, is the Facebook-like thing. Uh... Oh, Cassandra. We'll come back to that in a second, because I want to see if there's something more behind this... These are the two data chunks, right? It's, oh, we were there for free, for peace, and then she's laughing at, at the terrorist attack, and I'm that does not endear her to me. Okay. So, our thoughts still free? This is about, yeah, this is about, um... Wow. This is not even a year ago. I was going to say this is about a year ago. No, it's like five years ago. Jeez, okay. By Goldfells. And Goldfells... Sorry, I just need to go back here. So, Goldfells... No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was in a. It was in a chat transcript with Langley, wasn't it? Langley's her boyfriend slash lawyer. Seriously, where's the terrorist thing? Platinum card. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just picked those party pills from. Oh no. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. All right. This is her freaking out at her lawyer because she's on antidepressants. Always ready to pull the innocent ka-ching, okay. I was so happy when Goldfels accepted me into the thought. So he's the one that accepted her, and he's the one that wrote that. Um, original post, so our thoughts still free. I propose to consider the question, are thoughts still free? Well, this might, well, this were, uh, well, I'm sorry. Well, this might seem to be a surprising question in our current world of ever-growing digital surveillance, freedom of thought is no longer self-evident. Dear reader, there is a German folk song called The Thoughts Are Free. It goes like this. This is what got sent to the cops. Thoughts are free, who can guess them? They fly like nocturnal shadows, no man can know them, no hunter can shoot them with powder and lead. Thoughts are free. I think what I want and what delights me, still always reticent, and as it is suitable, my wish and desire, no one can deny me, and so it will always be. Thoughts are free. And if I am thrown into the darkest dungeon, all these are futile works because my thoughts tear all gates and walls apart. Thoughts are free. This, by the way, is a central point in 1984. For those of you who haven't read it, please read that book. It is a seminal work in uh, 20th century fiction. Uh, also, it's a central point in V for Vendetta. Again, I recommend you read the visual novel rather than just watch the movie because the visual novel is so much better. Uh, so, when I was still young, long before I immigrated to the nation in 1993, I believed this to be a universal truth, that there are no borders for thoughts and no rules for what is or is not allowed to be thought. This was not because I thought people should be so tolerant, not at all. Instead, I simply held a deer that nobody except for ourselves really knows what is going on in our heads until we choose to reveal it. Yesterday, a question crossed my mind. If the increasing interconnectedness of humans via modern technology serves more and more as a collective memory and brain for our society, and there is an institution that is capable of monitoring every bitstream of it, how can thoughts still be free? Is it not likely that we will communicate only under great mental reservation to hold on to our knowledge? which means, as a final consequence, we will stop thinking. Then I think of the increasingly aggressive operation of the surveillance machinery in the nation. I truly fear the answer to this question. Well, that is why I created this blog. I want to encourage alternatives to the total control and safety bigotry of this digital world. Yours sincerely, A. Goldfels. So, Abraham Goldfels. And then... Written on March 30th, 20th, so there's a, Hey Goldfells, interesting name by the way, just stumbled upon your new blog, and that's some truth you tell there. The web was born in a sense of the ultimate freedom to be who you want to be, express yourself, wasn't it? Yeah, because on the internet no one knows you're a dog. Now the gov has, has come to threaten this with real name policies and shit. Save your IPs so they can look up who you are. 
so you don't say anything wrong, possibly. About time someone did something. Well, if you didn't have one before, you've just gained your first follower. About time someone did something. Yeah, Goldfells, that's the way to do it. Frankly, the response, I'm surprised to find someone here at all. I thought nobody would ever find this blog at all. Thank you very much for your kind words, and yes, I'm delighted to have a first follower. Guest. Uh, about a... Two months ago? Something like that? Hello, admin. I like your things, too. <laughs> I like your things, too. Could you... Could you one but now even more to get a service on search engine optimization? Independent. Others get clicks and more money for you. Now use. Okay, fine. Even in the, even in the in the alternate future, there's still spam. Uh, okay, so okay, so there is data here. Let's go ahead. I I believe this is more more her. Now it could be. Look, it could be that she's super upset about what happened with her boyfriend, and that you know she has trouble dealing with like intense emotional situations, which is a possibility. We've seen that already, right? She freaks out at her friend, freaks out at a lawyer. But that's that's all the more reason that, you know, should be concerned, right? Upload to Orville. This is what I was saying. This is a, a knowledge engine, right? So now Symes, yep. I suspected as much. Seems we're looking at the right person. All right. What we found so far is all good and interesting, but I think we should be searching for something a little more concrete. We have to dig deeper. Ooh, a new chat transcript. Hold on, hold on, hold on. With Juliet Carrington. Hey, Cassie. Hi, Jules. Julia Carrington, do we know? Cassie, I just wanted to know. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, your post on timelines about this assault. Here we go. You really shouldn't write something like that. Really, Jules? You're not going to preach to me about this stupid post, are you? No. Yeah, so she's just a contact. I just wanted to know what's wrong, Cassie. It's nothing. Just between the two of us. I just had to let off steam, you know? Okay. Uh, it's because of what happened, isn't it? Yeah, and lots and lots of other shit today. The bombing stirred up all this crap again, you know. What I did. Hello. What happened there wasn't your fault. Wait a minute. Cassie, you- Whoa, whoa, you hurt that officer to save me and you succeeded, you mustn't forget about that. That was so brave. How could it have been my- how could it not have been my fault, Juliet? I smashed the freaking skull of a father of two children because I lost it. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Who knows what would have happened if you hadn't stopped him? And this is why you really should remove this post. I feel like an asshole. The worst kind of asshole. I might be free, but not rightly so. I'm not innocent. Cassie, nobody's innocent. You'll have to let go. Wow. Holy moly, guys. Um, so there we go. Uh, you hurt the officer to save me. Yeah, and then I smashed the freaking skull of the phone. So, it's not really conflict- Orwell, it's not really conflicting data. I'm gonna go with this. Because again, I'm gonna go down- I'm gonna go along with the idea- I'm gonna go along- I'm, I'm getting the idea that she has trouble dealing with, like, Intense situations, right? Some people deal with stress in different ways. Let's see what else we got, though. Okay. We took this data, didn't we? All sorts of data. Data, data, data. Why is this still labeled as new? Right? There's nothing. I mean, do we have to take anything else? No, we picked this. We, we took the data chunk. So what? what is going on, guys? Okay. Fine. There's no new post, right? It's just the one response that we saw. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to say that it's because it's this. She did it to save Juliet, who's just like a friend, right? I think was posting on... That's Mary. Juliet, Juliet, Juliet. Juliet, yes, this is her. Yeah, so I'm... Um, Andrew should be known as first. Oh, okay, so she's the one that gave her the alias. So, she hurt the officer to help him, and she's, I mean, look, she's dealing with a lot of stuff, I get that, she got arrested afterwards, but remember, they found her crying, and she immediately surrendered when confronted, right? So let's go ahead, let's open her profile back up, let's take this. Okay, it's a confession, yes, but just, Symes, what? 
Where did that come from now? This is perfect. We can arrest her and open the investigation again. Symes. Okay, fine. However, we probably won't be able to hold her for long if it really happened in defense of this. Juliet. Yeah. Very good work. The intervention team is already on its way. We'll need to wait for confirmation. In Miss Watergate's case, it may not it, it was not a problem to get her address with the help of local police due to her former record. Okay. Is there oh wait, 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 what's going on? Oh so she's going okay. Oh, she's starting a conversation this time. Cassandra, I thought about what you said. Maybe you're right. I should take the post down. You should, Cassandra. It'd be better, believe me. Wait a second, somebody's at, oops, somebody's at the door, BRB. Okay, I'll wait. Okay. By the way, how's your boyfriend? You're still together? You haven't been talking about him all that much lately. Well, not as much as before. Sims, Sims, don't do anything stupid. Hello? Are you still there? Cassie? Sims, I'll inquire if all went well with arresting Miss Watergate. Sims, you don't know? I, uh, I don't have access to your information. You don't have access to my information. The only way this works is you and I talk. I'll inquire if all went well with arresting Miss Watergate. You did a good job in any case. Although we have no proof she's involved in the bombing, we might be able to question her. Yeah, it's her group, man. Despite acting in defense of this Juliet, she seems to be quite unstable in a threat. I know she's a threat, Symes. Okay, I just received confirmation she's now in custody. Very good work indeed. I'm curious about this thought group, though. Whether they... Oh, God. Two dead after second explosion. Symes, no, 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 no. Take a look at the... Yeah. Yeah, I bet. All right, just take me there. Breaking news. Whoa, that is horrible. Yeah, Symes. Two dead, similar approach, same letter found. So these assaults are connected. And if that's what wasn't enough, Miss Watergate was in custody at the time, so that's her out of the picture, at least for this attack. Oh, this complicates matters massively. So much for our simple test case. I need to speak to my superior, see how we are to proceed with given these extenuating circumstances. I don't know. I'm guessing we keep looking, Symes. If we're in it now, we should probably keep looking. Symes, you did good today. You can log off and get some rest by clicking the button at the top right of the desktop. Try and get some sleep. I have a feeling the next few days are going to be trying at best. Yeah, we're not going to do that yet. Thank you. Is this all we have? Just headlines? Yes. Okay, let's go back to headlines. Let's read it. Breaking news. Two dead after second explosion. Yeah, I see the log off screen. I'm not done. Explosive charges set off at Stelagad. Stelagan? Stelagan University in Bonton. At least two dead, three injured. Once again, a letter has been received just before the crime. Half an hour ago, an explosion occurred at the campus of Bonton University. According to latest reports, at least two people were killed, with a further three injured severely. The area was evacuated immediately. According to a yet unconfirmed statements, the city administration office of Bonton received an anonymous letter just minutes prior to the detonation, which again contained the first three stanzas of the German folk song Die Gedanken sind frei, The Thoughts Are Free. Exactly like the letter received before the assault on the Freedom Plaza yesterday. We will inform you about any developments on this event as soon as further details are available. Uh, that's done, that's done. Really, we can't go anywhere else in here. Bond and unexpected... I mean, I mean if th th there's a difference of what? Four years between these posts. It's unclear what, if anything, is coming in here. Okay. That's kind of all we can, right? That's all we can really find here. We got a nice little network of people. Parents are parents. Oh, this is what I wanted to check out. That guy's portrait, Abraham's portrait, looks a little bit similar. Let's take a look at the people. Peter Faulkner. Okay. What are you? Nope, never mind. It's just another dude with a mustache. Me profiling dudes with a mustache. That's what happens. Anyway. Uh, okay. Let's see. What do we do when we log off? Are you sure you want to finish your work for today? All prompt process data chunks will expire. Nope. Let's stay logged in. Okay. So I'm going to log off. That's the end of the episode. Uh, and 
I'm intrigued. I'm actually super excited for the next one. So each episode is going to be a day, from what I understand. Maybe I'm wrong, but that seems to be what it is. Uh, the game is supposed to sort of open up in the next episode in the sense of this was a little more guided, as you can as you can see, and I think it was mentioned in the comments also. There was kind of just stuff that was going on, right? People were, you know, the, the Orwell was highlighting things for us to specifically read and sort of guiding us through the steps and showing us how this works. And the, and the devs have said that this is sort of an extended tutorial and introduction. And starting with episode two, there should be a lot more ability for us to do things and read things and, and make mistakes and the rest of it, okay? And sort of make decisions on how much we build out these profiles. So, uh, with that said, I'm super excited. Like, uh, we're probably gonna do one more episode after this in order to just talk about the meta narrative, but I have to scour a little bit through some of the Twitter profiles and such. But I really do believe that the devs have started up a sort of meta narrative where you can look at the Twitter profiles, maybe some of the things on Steam, maybe with their website a little bit. Uh, the the opening trailer, the intro trailer rather, uh, I think is important in some capacity because it, it fills in the background of your character specifically, that you're not a member of the party that you're external to the nation, that this is sort of outsiders looking in. I'm excited. I'm actually kind of curious to see what that might uncover. Maybe nothing, but uh, I'm curious. Uh, in any case, if you enjoyed this, you know, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, let me know that I'm doing something right, that you want to see more of this stuff when episode two and etc. comes out, certainly. If you guys have any thoughts, any questions, you have any idea of what's going on here, or at least thoughts about what's going on here, you have thoughts about uh, maybe I'm overlooking something, or maybe I made a connection that's wrong, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome. And in any case, I'll see you all next time. Better, 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 better